Hello. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello. I have no idea if you can hear me because I'm not hearing the video stream. And I also don't see that I'm getting any kind of a message that somebody's typing, but maybe they're not typing currently. Okay, so I can be heard. Well, that's good. <laughs> Glad that I can be heard. I probably will wait a few minutes just in case anybody else wants to pop in. I had a little bit of trouble. Hey, how's it going, Woody? Um, I had a little trouble getting uh, things set up, but I think it's it's done now. Um, it was kind of a work in progress trying to figure everything out. And as you can see, I've got the, the Batman cowl set here. A local game store had put it on sale uh, early. I got word of that. Um, uh, late last night, I think it was, and I decided to go out and get one. And I, or no, it was two nights ago. Late, I probably could have gone out then to get it, but it would have been just before they closed and all that. And I'm like, I'll wait. And I went yesterday to pick it up, and so now I'm going to open it up and build it later. Uh, not too long. I've got uh, these three plastic containers for putting loose pieces in, just in case they're going to get all over the place on me. So yeah, it looks like. I think that's probably a person count three. I'm assuming he's not counting myself because I think it was at zero before anybody was around. So there are two people in chat and a third person watching, I believe. All right. So we'll probably give people into like uh, 20 of or maybe quarter of before uh, I open everything up and start building. It's only at 410 pieces. So I can't imagine it's going to take a whole heck of a long time. But I figured I would capitalize on the fact that it's not even supposed to be released yet and try to do that now. Now, I see that the video has the word backwards. I'm wondering if there's a setting for that where I could make it show it correctly. I have no idea. Oh, you do see it normally. Well, interesting. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Ben. How's it going? So that's weird because on my screen, it's backwards. But, well, that's good. Just a little foible, I guess, in doing a live stream. Everything for me is looking backwards. Oh, well, look at that. Five people. That's amazing. Oh, and of course, uh, I, I stopped to the Lego store today, uh, and I did ask my question. They will, in fact, have the uh, um, Skywalker Homestead promo set on the first. Uh, they also got copies of the Moss Eisley Cantina in. I'm like, oh. So there's three on the shelf, and I think they said they had gotten six or maybe nine in. So if it survives until... Next Saturday, I will probably go in and pick one of those up at least for the double points and free promo gifts and that sort of thing. 
and I will probably buy some other stuff as well. I'm not sure if the, uh, has anybody uh, watched uh, one of the newer Pops Block Shop videos where he got a bunch of poly bags after his vacation and one of them was the Imperial Shuttle. He got like a dozen or maybe 20 of them. Um, I think that might be the same promo that uh, they have to give away at the store level. So I'm just wondering if they just said, hey, this is a set we've got a bunch of. Let's give some of them away in the stores. And they sent the stores some copies of it. I really don't know. Uh, or if it's somehow somebody got some ahead and he bought them from him from them. No idea. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. Ugh. I'm glad I can read the chat. I was a little concerned. Now, one of the things I discovered when doing the research on how to do a live stream is I can't do a live stream from my phone until I have a thousand subscribers. And that seems like it's going to be a year or two away. So I'm not too worried about that. But I figured out that I can use it through a webcam. Now, my laptop, which you can see here, I don't have a webcam built into it. I do have an external webcam. The one I've been using for gaming and whatnot has a tracking feature where it tracks me. And while I'm not showing my face currently, I didn't want to use that. So I pulled up the old webcam. It seems to be working fine. I mean, the video isn't amazing, but it's not horrible by any means. Well, I thank you, Juliet. Um, I'm sure people will like it if they like it, and hopefully they'll subscribe if they want to. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of trying the Brixar mentality of not pushing that. Um, Maybe I should, maybe because I know when I watch videos, um, there's a few that I watch them all the time, but it's like the second thing out of their mouth is to subscribe. I'm like, if I was a new viewer and I haven't seen anything yet, I'm not going to go subscribe until I've seen stuff. And so I, I, it puts me off a little bit. I suppose maybe at the end of a video, it's a little more appropriate. Hey, if you like what you've seen, go ahead and subscribe or whatever. But I'm just trying to do it low key. Uh, it may not work in the end, and that's okay, but that's what I'm trying right now. Um, it's kind of like you throw something at the wall and see what sticks. Um, I know there was one day, geez, a month ago or so, I had released like nine videos in one day because I had opened up a bunch of stuff, and I had a video separate for each item. And I think I lost like four or five subscribers in the next day or two. And I'm like, okay, people don't like getting bombarded with messages about new videos. I get that now. So... <laughs> We won't be doing that. Uh, probably three would be the most I'd ever do in a day. And it'd have to be something special uh, or very different videos, like a basement update and a haul and then maybe a something special. Um, I've done a couple of special ones. Um, and basically what I do for the bonus ones is that they're not actually listed. You have to find the link for them. And there's two of them so far. Uh, so I kind of put the link somewhere where, you know, if people are paying attention, they'll see it. And, you know. It's just a little bonus thing. And it looks like we're okay. 20 of them. been going for 10 minutes. That's not so bad. And I think I'm going to give five more minutes. And then uh, I'll open this up. And uh, I will say that it, it doesn't shake a whole lot, but it does shake some. I think that's the instructions I hear in there probably. Um, I do know that personally, I thought the Amelia Earhart set was well packed in that promo box. And I think that's probably because they wanted to use that size box, which is a standard size box for them. Uh, and they had, you know, we barely fit the pieces in type thing. Uh, there's also a slight possibility that later on I may have to pause briefly. I've set up a little, well, one of my masks for the whole COVID thing. I've set it up over here so that I can lift it up over the webcam uh, if I need to get a visitor. Because if you look in the video, let me see if I can get this. There's a pile of boxes right here. And then back here, there's a door. That door leads to my garage, and there's an out exterior door that is open currently. Uh, and if the friends need to stop by and they need to poke in, they will probably have to come in through that door. So I may have to pause. 10 day streak of brick link orders, gotten 30 orders in 10 days. So is that actually three per day, or is that just the average that, you know, some days are a little higher and some days are lower, but you've had at least one a day? I will also say that it's a little odd having a conversation with people where I don't hear them. I'm reading what they say. Um, 
you know, some people that might be familiar with the, uh, hey, Cynthia, how's it going? Averaging three per day, yeah. Um, I know at the uh, Just a Brick in the Bucket Discord, you know, some of us have jumped into the um, voice chat there, which is, you know, pretty standard. It's like talking on the phone. You, don't, you know, a lot of us are familiar with that for a long time, and you don't see people there, and that's not a problem. But this is, it's a little odd. I have, you know, I, I speak, and then I kind of wait and see if people say something back. <laughs> I'm glad that I got this much to work so far. I, I feel pretty proud of myself. I think sometimes things intimidate me more than they need to, and other times it's definitely understood. Hey, Fives, how's it going? Hey, Jordan. Jordan, have I mentioned that every time I see your name, I think of Nine Inch Nails? And I realize it's supposed to be Ninjago, but yeah, I, I just, I see the Nin. Either that or I think of the MC Lars song. Uh, Signing Emo, uh, which is a good song if nobody's heard it. I like MC Lars. He's a little uh, fringy for what a lot of people are familiar with, but that's the way it is. Well, Cynthia said something, and then she retracted what she said. Hopefully, she didn't call me a big idiot or something. I kind of doubt that. Oh, okay. Proud of me and excited. Well, you know, I'm, I was a little nervous going into everything, and then when I, when I, it was a couple minutes before, I was trying to get it to start, and then it said, oh, Download your software. Like, um, no, I don't have any software. I was supposed to be able to, and I realized I was on the tab for using software to do it. And there was a different tab for um, using a webcam. So I had to switch over to webcam thing and get that started quickly, but it seems to have worked out at this point. I've gotten a text. I got my phone over here next to the screen. You can't, can't see it, but what do we got going on here? Oh, FedEx picked up something and it's scheduled for delivery on the 26th. So I get a lot of those messages. I used to get more when I was buying more from the uh, Shop Goodwill online. I've kind of backed off of that a little bit, uh, mainly because I haven't opened most of what I've ordered. And that's like backlog of videos that I need to take care of. But yeah. Only one other person I'm aware of had said they were going to stop by. I haven't seen yet, but maybe they're lurking back there somewhere. That would be David. Uh, and, of course, maybe other people will show up. Who knows? Another, I'll give it a minute, and then we'll we'll pop this guy open. Do anybody else have any other thoughts about this set? I mean, I'm not the biggest Batman fan. I like Batman. But, I mean, I know there's people that, like, collect everything Batman, and I'm not like that. I have a number of the Batman stuff for Lego, but mainly it's the large uh, UCS uh, Batmobile and then the Batwing, the 89 version. So I did not get the Tumblr. Uh, that was just before I was kind of going into things a little bit more. And then uh, this one, because I think it'll match the Iron Man one pretty well. I'm also kind of curious what other ones they'll do. Um, obviously more Star Wars ones, but now with the, the Carnage and the Venom and the Iron Man and the Batman, you know, they're really opening it up to more different things they can do. I'm not sure we'll see a Spider-Man one because it's really just snug to his head. And we might, but I think they're looking for things that have a little bit more 3D elementation to it that they can kind of do things with. Got the Carnage one today. Very cool. Now, did, I'm assuming because of where you are, you got that delivered to you in the mail. You didn't actually go out and buy that somewhere. Um, although I think Target has them. I'm not, I was there, and did I see it? I can't remember. I don't remember. But we're going to open this up now and uh, see what we got inside. The joke would be on me if there's not actually a set in here. I don't know what I heard in here, but that would be kind of funny. All right, so we got bag number one, which the way I opened it is the first one to come come out. Bag number two. And bag number three. Ah, target ship. Very good. And the only other thing is the instruction book, which is a little thicker than I would have anticipated. But, you know, that's okay. For four, only 410 pieces, I mean, that's a fairly sizable instruction book, I'd say. 
And it's a very simplistic, you know, that's a weird cover. And I'm going to show that a little bit better. And the reason I say it's weird is because it doesn't have the set number on the cover anywhere really closely defined. It's got a barcode down here, which I'm assuming is for the instructions if you wanted to do that online. But it doesn't have the set name or the number, which almost, well, maybe not the set names, but every other instruction book I can think of has had the instruction or the set number on the instruction book. Uh, there's nothing on the spine and there's a feedback thing on the back, but they're not really booklet available in English on. Huh. So, yeah, but there's no there's no set number on the cover, which I find very interesting. Uh, we open it up here, and we've got some the character to talk about uh, Batman over here, and I will hold this up. So if anybody wanted to take a screenshot, they could read that. I'm not going to read it out loud. I'm going to let other people read that. Then there's a building Batman side over here. And let's see. What's next? And then we go right into the instructions, although, you know, the obligatory, this is how you use a Brex separator, which, you know, that's pretty good. I think they cover pretty much everything. I will say for anybody who uses brick separators, sometimes using two of them on opposite sides helps. Um, I, at least that's something I run into personally. All right. So, and then down here, step one is going to be this much, and then step two is this much, and then step three kind of is the end. Um, I'm not sure how long I'm going to do this for. You know, it depends on how long people are interested. I see there's 10 people now, which may be a record. I don't know. It is for me, at least. I mean, I don't know if it was briefly over that or not. But now we're going to go and get bag one and open it up. Uh, these things are the snap case cases. I really like getting these. Um, they come with a cover as well. And then uh, you can snap each one apart. It's going to be loud for a moment. And there are two smaller bags inside the larger bag. And because I got these three little things, I'm going to open each one of them up into a separate one. So it's a little easier to find things. I have no idea how this was for time-wise for people. I just kind of guessed something that might be decent. So. All right. So let me see. I'm going to see if I can move this camera just a little bit so there's a better angle on what I'm doing. Because that might actually be a little more interesting. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. All right. So now we need dots over here. So the very first instruction, I'm into one of the small bags. How are other people's sales on BrickLink going? I know uh, Ben, uh, JB's Brick Kiln, had just said that he was getting an average of three orders a day over the last 10 days. So that seems pretty good. I know in the Just Brick in a Bucket Discord, they were saying a lot of people were seeing it being slow. So. A few sales over the weekend, nothing sense. Well, hopefully that'll speed up. Look at that. A brick stuck to the brick separator right out of the bed. Uh oh. It's one of these pieces. <laughs> So now, two, four, six, eight, seven, two, four, six, eight, one of those. We need one of those, it's like half of a hinge. 
There we go. So with this hinge piece here, this is an interesting question. Let me see if I can show this a little bit better. Does that hinge piece, um, is that listed separately than its top on a BrickLink? And or can you sell it together if you have both in the same color? Curious. $42 order a few minutes ago. Well, it wasn't me. I've been busy. Lots of pieces from my late 80s, early 90s lot. I've been adding parts almost in the last 10 days. Yep. Even on vacation there, or it wasn't exactly vacation as I recall, but even while you were away from home. All right. Two of those. One of those. And what is that piece? Hmm. Two by two. Hmm. Huh. I seem to not. Oh, there it is. It's over here. All right. Together and separate. Well, that's good because, you know, some of those, the old ones, I don't know if I'd want to risk popping them apart um, just because I think maybe they'd be a little brittle or something. And not like this horrible brittle that we hear about sometimes, but just your standard. I'm old, brittle. Yeah. There we go. I get to turn the page. I cataloged a whole, a lot, a while on the trip. Added those parts when I came home. Yep. And I'm sure you probably saw an increase in sales pretty much directly after that, too. Oh, interesting, going the opposite way. So yeah, we had to go on the first one, build it with the smaller piece on the top, and now we're building it on the bottom because now it's going to go over the top like this. You probably can't see it. I probably wasn't the smartest thing to choose uh, a black table when building a largely black set. But the table was here already. I didn't really move it at all. I Still moving in. I, I took a load of stuff from my storage unit that's local yesterday, uh, so that helped. Uh, but it's still just in the garage. I mean, it's not, not doing anything special at the moment. I do need to get on top of more of that. This is a piece I'm not sure I've seen much of. It's like a uh, three by three slanted piece, uh, slanted in two directions to a point there. That's kind of neat piece. All right, we get to turn another page. Oh, now we're getting into some Technic stuff. Always fun. All right, what do we got? Two pins, two lift arms, and one of those things. Okay. At least one piece out of every one of the bags that was in that bag. All right. Well, mine doesn't look exactly like the instruction because theirs. The lift arm stays straight up. The magic of art, they can have that happen. I think this is probably a smart move, a smaller set for a, a live stream, especially my first one. Uh, that way I probably won't have to do it over more than one iteration. All right, oh, some of the 
triangular tiles for those. Very nice. I'm always, you know, I'm kind of behind, I'm sure, in what I consider new pieces and what are not new pieces. But again, I've been dealing with Lego in one form or another for a long, long time. So, like I know one of my favorite pieces right now that's new is the uh, one by one round plate, but with the hole in it. I think we first saw that in the uh, Lincoln Memorial architecture set in white. And there was a whole bunch of them in that set. And I was just like, wow, this is so cool. All right. Oh, and we need eight of those. All right. Get the orientation right here. Here's an interesting question. This kind of goes more, uh, it's more of a brick link type thing. Just more to talk a little bit. Hey, David, how's it going? Um, but I'm wondering if there's some pieces that are actually Lego that over the years, the mold has not changed except with for the addition of the Lego name on the piece somewhere. Because I know when I was a lot younger, there were some pieces that I'm pretty sure did not have Lego on them, but they were Lego. I had very little that was non-Lego when I was very young. Of course, there was less opportunity for it too. Um, but it just seems to me that you know, there's some pieces that it's almost impossible to put it on, like a, a one by one round brick. Where does it go on that? I mean, they're hollow. They used to not be hollow, and I have some of those, but all right, Jordan, I've learned a ton about parts like tiles with and without grooves. Yep. And the old Lego hat with the long bill, short bill difference from bricks are it's crazy the small differences now yeah i know there is lots of helmets and accessories are like that you used to only have a number or a c a copyright yeah and it's just i don't know interesting things to think about more than anything really turning another page oh and david since you weren't here i'm just going to show you quick the front of the instruction book i thought was very unique in the fact that it doesn't have the set number anywhere on the front I was just confused by that. It doesn't even look like a normal Lego set instructions, especially with the small print there in the lower right corner with the barcode for the instructions. It's just, I don't know. All instructions I remember seeing always had the, the number on the, the set number on it. All right. Two of those. All right. And two of those. Very good. Huh. Look at that. We've now segregated the lift arm. So it is, in fact, straight up, but it's got pieces to hold it. But there's a little bit of move movement. Yeah, it does almost look like a bootleg instruction. I was thinking, or maybe I could see that maybe it was a promo set. They, they wouldn't do it quite the same. It was just very strange to me. Two of those. Which ones are those? I uh, so I went to the Lego store today as I mentioned to some people and I talked to them and we do have the uh, Skywalker Homestead is going to be available in store um, but uh, some other things I did while I was out well, I did buy something at the Lego store just I went there why shouldn't I buy something but um, I also went to the Goodwill and they still had the sealed bag that had like five or six canisters of Bionicles in them, but they want ninety dollars for the whole thing, and I was just like, "Yeah, I can't, I can't see that. I can't buy that." Um, but I did find like in there, and that was in their 
what they called Treasure Island. Like you can't just see it because it's behind, like you have to ask somebody to see it. But then just out in the normal toy section, I found a bag about this big, a Duplo. And they wanted $1.99 for it. And it had one of the pieces in it was like a Duplo. It looked like a Jeep. Like maybe there was a Toy Story 2 Duplo set with a Jeep because it's green. And I was just like, so I'm like, for $1.99, I'll buy it. Uh, I'm sorting out my windscreens from the lot while listening. Yeah. I have a lot of windscreens too. All right. Another one of these precious pieces and one of those. Okay. All right. Now, this is a, one of those interesting things. So, I have this piece, and this one is supposed to go on top of it, you know, over like this. But I did notice that there is one side that has one hole on opposite sides, and the other side that has three. So, in my infinite wisdom, I said to myself, there probably is a right and a wrong way to do this. Let's make sure we do it the right way. Now, I, ironically, when I was going to put it on, I was putting it on the way they had it. But it just kind of goes to show that you kind of have to pay attention even when it seems like it's just a duh moment. Uh, I'm sure the Duplo will get listed some year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm getting close. So, like, uh, clearly, if anybody has watched the more recent video, you'll know that all the drawer units in the basement are in the place that I want because I had to order the replacement combo ones. And so that means I had to pull off the two above it to put that one in, which is the third one. But then I had to pull them all off so I could pull all the dividers off. And I spent two, two nights ago or whatever it was, I spent like two hours, two and a half hours coming, uh, going and, and pulling all that and getting it done. So they're all set. Ironically, I did find one drawer unit that has no screws holding it in. So he missed that one completely. I'm like, it's fine. It's not going anywhere. It's the bottom one. So I'm just like, okay. Um, but yeah, the next thing, David, you got it, is labeling. I have to start working on labels. And I did have a couple of thoughts on that. I'm just going to say all of these glass parts have playware. They may be fine, but it's always hard to describe them. The trans parts always scratch. Yeah, I know. And you know, and that's something, I, as I've been sorting Lego upstairs here, I, I'm alternately, I will sometimes just sort a piece into the category or go, no, it's too horrible to sell. And I put it in a too dirty slash too damaged pile. Um, and I'm, I think at some point I'm going to get a whole bunch of variety of damaged pieces. I'm going to take a couple of pictures and ask people opinions. Like, what do you think? Like A through D, left to right. What do you think? Do you think that one is sellable? Is that one sellable? I mean, some of them clearly are not. But then eh, this one might be okay. I mean, it's something that I'm going to have to think about because the lot that I'm going through right now has a lot of damage. I mean, there's a lot of pieces that are going directly to the can't sell no matter what. So it's leading me to wonder, you know, there's going to be gradients of acceptability there. So I'm always going to be curious what other people think of that. All right, two of those blue guys. But yeah, I mean, I love that, that Discord. I mean, if anybody is not on the Discord and has any thought about it, the just a brick in the bucket Discord. I mean, here I am plugging somebody else, but that's okay. They're just great people right across the board and helpful. I mean, I you know, people will often put up questions and like inside of two minutes, two people have answered, you know. Um, I mean, sometimes questions go unanswered for longer. And I think some of that is going to just people don't see it wrong time of the day to see it quickly. But that willingness to help, to me, is just, that's a really good thing. Uh, let's see. Probably better safe than sorry, but I think most experienced buyers on Bricklink know that shiny tiles or windscreen should be bought new, and most have scratches even then. Yeah, very true. Very true. One of those and three of those. Okay. All right, so we we'll put that in one of those. And we we'll put that back here. And these two over here. Okay. So far, just the, the base, really, that the whole thing is going to stand on. Oh, wow, I get to put another big piece on. Yay.
Not likely. I, I guess maybe I forgot what that's in a reference to. Whoops. All right. Those four of those. Here's another question. When people are building their own set, at least with the current iteration of this, the instructions, much, much different than it used to be back when I started with Lego, um, do people go to the little preview picture and pull the pieces that it tells you you're going to need? I find that to be a huge, huge help. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Missing a piece later is just the worst. Or putting a piece in backwards or something like that. Or yeah, there's so many little errors you can make. I've seen some interesting YouTube videos on like goofy instructions, like where they, they're really unclear. Like they kind of show an arrow going down where the piece is supposed to be, but it's up to interpretation exactly where it's going to go. Or one of my favorite ones was, I think it was for the ship in a bottle where they basically just said, take these 521 studs and pour them in. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think these larger sets, now not this size, but I think once you start getting up to like six, 700 pieces, if they didn't do this preview, it would just be a nightmare. And, you know, you know, that's an interesting question. I wonder if, that might be something that I would do eventually. Is that, and it would probably be relatively easy to do, but it would be time consuming. They go through by year of the Lego sets and make a list of the largest set by piece count that they made. Because I'd like to see that that graph of like it going up over the years. Because I know when I started with Lego, they weren't as big as they are now. I mean, clearly. Um, but yeah, I'm just it's an interesting thing to think about that I just thought of. So I just had to put a couple of pieces in here, this red 2x4 brick and a yellow 1x2 brick. And it's interesting to me that uh, they do that. They, there's different colors in there, and I've heard all sorts of reasons for that. Uh, one is so that in the instructions, you can better tell where it's supposed to go. That makes some sense to me. I've also heard in some sets, some of the designers do that so that they can uh, uh, add in rarer colors into a set. like to get them into circulation. And I was just like, that's kind of clever. Oh my God. Even the first Hogwarts only had 600 pieces and that was considered a big set. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure the first thousand piece set didn't hit until the 90s, but maybe, maybe the late 80s. I don't know. Hello, where'd he go? All right. Hmm. All right. I think I just discovered a mistake I made. <laughs> I mistook a black and a dark gray one by two tile. Luckily, not so far along. Headed out for a bit. We'll pop back later if you're still here. Game night over here. All right. Have fun, David. Good luck. Her designer likes to add hidden pink and everything he does. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel that's like more of a personal thing, but I'm talking about like, you know, getting pieces in like sand green that didn't exist in the sand green before out into the middle of a set so that now that piece exists in sand green because, you know, people like building in sand green for, you know, all these different reasons. So, yeah, I mean, 
there's all sorts of reasons. And I think it's interesting. And one of those. That one? No, the other one. That one. All right. I found a pink 2 by 4 brick in the heart of a Batman vehicle. Yeah. Now, was that as intended, or had somebody built something and maybe they needed the piece? I would imagine you probably found it as intended, but who knows? Got that one, got that one. I'm gonna need that, that's for sure. Alright. Rotate it around. I will actually have to say this is probably the largest build I've done in a long time. Which is kind of scary at only 410 pieces. But it's the truth. I, it was in the set inventory. I thought it was a mock at first. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, again, like, um, who was it? Who? Uh, da, da, da. Jordan had said that there's a designer out there that puts pink in things when they can get away with it, I guess. So, yeah. I know that I've seen some pink in the middle of brickheads. Like, I always thought it was just, that's their brain. I'm like, okay. Oh, I skipped a step. How many people have ever done that? Like, oh, we're doing the same thing on this side. They're going to do that. And then you go ahead and do it. And then they tell you to do it. Like, oh, I already did that. Oh, piece overboard. Uh. Where did it go? <laughs> oh, wow. It's way back there. Ugh. So, uh, I do that. Oh, yeah, dropping pieces. Yeah, Butterfingers dug here. Which just kind of goes hand in hand with my whole concept of I'm not going to uh, hand key drawer numbers. I don't want to take that risk. Loans, not in here. Two loans. Hmm. All right, now we have a separate problem. All right, we need to slow down here for a moment. So if there's two of them that's supposed to be here, what piece is I supposed to use back there? It looks like that's the piece I'm supposed to use there. Like, so where is my extra pieces? All right. So now I use the black ones there. That's correct. And there. Okay. Did I mix up something even earlier on? Ah, we do it there. Hang on a sec. Those are supposed to be. No, that's that seems to match. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. We did. We made an error. Woo! All right. Let's see if we can get this taken care of. Uh, hmm. That's not going to work because of the pin. Ha uh ha. -huh. All right. There, we'll pull the plate off. Come on. So, yeah, 
on this piece here, there is this, on this side and the opposite side, there is a snot piece with the top and then it goes in to prevent this from moving too much. On these two sides, there's just a one by two and I thought it was the same color. No, these are supposed to be trans, uh, the smoky trans like this piece. So yeah, made a mistake because now I need these pieces for another step. Thank heavens it's not too hurt too early on. Or too far along, rather. All right, so now we got to see. Um, now these have to go in here. Uh, Woody, for larger items, you may want to do a time lapse pre record and put them up after or do voiceover. I'm thinking of larger items like the Hogwarts Cancel Set. Yeah. A lot of people do the time layups on a larger set, absolutely. Um, I'm not sure how often I'm going to do this. Uh, it might depend upon reactions from people, what they think, um, and all that kind of thing. I mean, I'm certainly, you know, it's okay, it's enjoyable, but, you know, if people don't like it, then you know, I'll just happily sit somewhere and build my stuff when I get around to it. Plus, it, you know, I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to capitalize on the fact that this set isn't supposed to be out until Monday. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, let me get back to the right step. There we go. Uh, let's see. Now we're doing what? Okay, we'll take this and these reclaimed pieces that we've missed, and then this, and then this, and then that goes. Here. And then this, and then this, and then this, and then this goes here. Yeah, uh, definitely a, a larger set, I think. You know, I know that there's, I mean, there, there was um, somebody, and I can't remember his name. I've watched a number of his videos, uh, does Lego stuff. And he did the, the the UCS Star Destroyer on live streams. He did it over four or five sessions, and they're probably three or four hours apiece. But he has many, many more followers, and so I'm sure some people love that, you know. Um, and again, I'm just going to test the water and see what people think. You know, are they tired of my voice yet? You know, do they want me to get over with it or what, you know? And, you know, it always amazes me sometimes, too, and this goes for other things, certainly, what people will watch on YouTube. Um, the, the whole cottage industry of people playing video games and streaming it online. I'm just like, don't you want to play a video game instead of watch a video game? However, I will say a really good friend of mine, um, he used to come over and... Um, He'd watch me play a couple of games. Uh, uh, one of them was uh, the original Might and Magic. And then, um, and then actually, I was a different person. And then uh, Load Runner was a good game. Anybody remember Load Runner? Probably. Well, Woody, you might remember Load Runner. But I think the rest of you are probably, well, Cynthia, if you're still here, you might remember Load Runner. It's an old game. And it's been out in a number of iterations and versions. But, yeah, the, the classic Apple II 80s game, Load Runner. I love that game. And every time it uh, they come up for doing uh, um, submissions for uh, the Video Game Hall of Fame here at the uh, Margaret Woodbury Strong Museum of Play, I'm always suggesting Load Runner. Because while it may not have been the first, it certainly was one of the earlier games that allowed you to actually go in and make your own levels. They had a level editor built into it, which I thought was the coolest thing ever. And... Uh, because of the nature of the game, it was very um, grid-like, and it's a 2D platformer, basically. So I basically designed levels on um, uh, graph paper. All right, hang on a sec. I see there's a Discord thing, but it's got, I think it means it's directly to me. Hmm. Except I don't see anything directly to me. 
Well, false alarm. All right, we're getting there. Let's see, we need a couple of those. All right, a couple of those. Oops, doing it back. Okay. Yeah, I think a lot of ways this was a good set to choose because it is not terribly complicated. Um, I feel like, I mean, I already made a mistake, a couple actually. Uh, I feel like if I was doing a really large set, you know, the chance for making a, a grievous error, error just increases many times. What is that piece? Oh, okay. There's one. What do we do with that? Okay. Two of that. Two of those also. And two of that. So, Ben, how many windscreens do you think you have that you're having to go through? Two more of those. I would have just spent hours the past few days listening to CP Gray play Minecraft in the background as I worked. I'm not familiar with that person. Still don't get some of the let's watch people play, but this was fun since he hadn't played it since version one. Lots of fun and surprise, I'll bet. Yeah, I knew somebody who basically watched Minecraft for a year or more before they played. So I'm certainly, you know, I guess that would be a good way to learn things. I have an advent calendar tray full plus some. Yeah, that's a good chunk. What is your advent calendar tray made out of? Um, they've changed that over the years. I think there's at least three different versions of that. It's looking very un Batman like. <laughs> but I'm on step 30, so we're getting there. I've never played Minecraft and have been enjoying watching YouTube videos of Minecraft. Yeah. This one is plastic. I think it's from 2014-15. Yeah, that's that's about the right era for the plastic ones. I think they had two different straight plastic ones. And then I think there was a weird one for a year. I don't remember what it was. And now they're on like um, an old school cafeteria tray, like cardboard, hard cardboardy kind of thing that is probably very recyclable. So I, I commend them on that. I mean, that's a great thing. A bit dusty, yeah, yeah. It would be hard to keep those clean, probably. The one thing I will say is if you get a bunch of them, they stack really nice. <laughs> Although each type is not stackable with the other type. You have to stack each type together. But still, it's pretty nice.
you know, if I didn't know better, I'd say this is like a, a trolley car on like a, maybe a, a tram going up a ski slope or something. It just has that windowed boxy look to it. All right, one of those. Hmm. Not that one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Eh, never mind. Yeah, sometimes the colors don't really... There's some colors that mess me up, I think. Uh, that's true. There is some difficulty getting them apart. I'll give you that. Two more yellow dots. Yeah, I call the one by one round plates dots a lot of the time. Not to be confused with the dots set line. So, you know, that's a step I think I would have put them in reverse order. So I had to put, let me get this in camera. I had to put this part on first, the kind of like the window thing with the snot on the top, and then these little one by one brick snot with the one on the side with the yellow dot underneath. I had to put those on after this one, and just getting my fingers in there was. It wasn't horrible, but I think I probably would have put those on first and then slid that one down between. I've often wondered how they actually come up with set instructions, too. Like, does the designer have to, like, make notes as to what he does every step? And then, like, well, if he changes his mind and wants to design it differently, how does he do it, you know? I also, and here's another thing. So here, I just had to put in these, I guess, one by two by two snot bricks um, here and here. And then I had to put the one by one by two snot bricks next to them. And these are in the light bluish gray and these are in black. And it seems to me like, you know, they could just as easily have been all light bluish gray. But my, I'm wondering if this one by one by two isn't available in light bluish gray yet. And they just said, it's interior, we don't have to make it the same color. Um, again, same thing for these ones down here, these one by one by one snots with the, they actually have studs on two sides, there's interior studs, which I wonder if we'll actually ever use those, probably. Um, you know, they could have been light bluish gray to match the other ones, but I'm wondering if they do that sometimes, like it doesn't really matter and that way we don't have to make a new colored part, we'll just use one that already exists. I'm sure that sort of stuff happens all the time for them. All the time. One more of these guys. One more of these guys. Well, we've emptied out one of the bins. The other ones are almost empty, so we're almost done with this step. Let's see here. All right, one or two steps left, I think, for this. Two of those, and two of those. Four 
one more. All right, this is the last step for step one. Been on for an hour. Well, it didn't start right away either, so. Uh, it was pretty clear with the buildable teal brick promo with using quarter tile since the two by two round tile didn't exist in dark turquoise. Yep, absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. So what do we have Lex? Uh, we have one black pin, a one by one round yellow plate, and a trans clear smoky uh, cheese slope. Those are the extra pieces for this particular stuff. I know other people have asked this, what do you do with your extra pieces? Random question for anybody. Ugh, I used to keep them separate. I used to sometimes actually try to add them to the set in unobtrusive ways. That led to some crazy things at times. And sometimes it's a big enough set, you can pop an extra cheese slope on it, nobody will notice. Um, so yeah, I've done all sorts of different things with that. All right, so now we need bag two. Looks like there may be two smaller sealed bags inside bag two as well. There's a lot of black. And black is the worst color to try to find a different piece in when looking through a bunch of pieces, which is, if you ever want to try to explain to somebody why sorting by color is not always the easiest thing in the world, it's sorting isn't so bad, but then finding what you're looking for, take a bunch of black and pour it in and tell them to find a two by two plate. Small enough to be small and then you're not like, you know, tiny that you're asking them to find the smallest piece. Extra bits right in the big bin of Lego. Yep, that's what a lot of people do. Uh, let's see. So turn the page, step number two. All right, so now I'm going to start to familiarize myself with where a piece are. with two of this, two of that. Uh, that's a six. Two, that's an eight. Hmm. There's a six. How many of those do I need to? All right. Two one by twos, probably over here. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, usually try to add them to the set somewhere or just throw them in a bin. Now if there are any new or interesting pieces, I'll add them to my store. Yeah. Just put them in the collection. This can just go sit the milk. All right, that time didn't make a lot of sense. And two of these. I know at one point, uh, I know Brixar has a, a big bin, like a drawer uh, for sort of like the Irish drawer units, full of extra pieces. I will say keeping them and not necessarily adding them to the store can be a good thing because they're usually small pieces. And if you're missing something, often it's a sm small piece. So if somebody says, hey, um, you know, if you order something that you can't find, tracking it down in your extra bin might not be a bad move. All right. I think we've just added the first bit of exterior sloping for the uh, the cowl. All right. There, it's a two, an eight by eight black plate. One by four, one, one by four red tile. Okay. 
So, uh, Jordan, that uh, the new set you picked up, uh, the um, Ninjago City, do you are you looking for a place to put it so that you can build it, or do you kind of know where it's going to go and have to make room for it there? Also, Ben, I'd be curious once you're done with those windscreens, if you have a count, like as you're going to upload them, just been kind of curious how many that is. I definitely am team upload parts in larger quantities and smaller quantities if possible. So we're in the middle of redoing some stuff in the house, so I haven't gotten an official room yet for my Lego store. So most of my Lego is not built or built and unbuilt and put away until we finish. Yep, that's that's the way things go. I am in so much flux here, it's not even funny. Um, yeah. Uh, what else we need? We need one of those. There we go. Peace down. All right. Um, let's see. Eight. That's a six. There we go. Oh, there's so much black in this one bin. Made another error. This one could be a little more difficult to get to, too. Read the instructions. Got to pay attention. All right. Two two by fours. Well, the two by threes are in that one, but not the two by fours. That'll be too easy. They're in the sea of black one, I think.
Here we go. One, two by three. And let's see. Two of those guys. Wow, I don't even know what you call these. They're like one by one quarter circle tiles. They're probably stuff that comes right out of the uh, dots type stuff. Those are always a pain because you want to get them straight. I guess the best thing to do is if you've got another piece that can go in that you can kind of align them to. That's what I did here. Hmm. One of each of those. Hey. And then one of those. It's going to be bigger than here. Oh, we're getting there. Slow but sure. I really like so now here. I just put in these two, these three pieces here. There's the the one in the middle and then the two on either side that are kind of like angled. I really like those. Very useful. I know when I was down in Virginia and I'd gotten a bunch of the Speed Champion sets to actually build, and I, I built a whole bunch of them. Uh, I they they did that all the time. Use those little one by two slope, but an angle on the slope. All right, this goes right in here. All right, I'd say we have the top of the cowl coming along. So. All right, two reds, those are easy to find because, well, there's not a lot of red. Matter of fact, there's no more color in that one anymore. And two of those little triangular ones. Hmm. <laughs> Or anything that's coming out soon, just came out, or coming out later in the year that people are really excited about?
two double cheese slopes. That's a lot of cheese. Jordan, uh, I'm excited for the Venom head coming out on Monday. It's my first day that day, and I thought it was definite buy for me that day. Yeah, I can see that being the case. Happy birthday ahead of time. Additional Star Wars helmets and a few of the new Harry Potter items. Yeah, Harry Potter, you know, it's, it's funny because uh, I have an admission to make. I've never seen the movies, and I've never read the books. Um, and if any of you are familiar, I worked in bookstores for 20 years throughout the entire main Harry Potter run and even one, one of the books afterwards, I think. And I never read any of them. I worked all the midnight things, and that was kind of, you know, fun. But I've never read any of the Harry Potter stuff. Uh, ben, I'm interested in getting some of the new Harry Potter sets from you too, okay? For my store, though. They have some really cool parts. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, and the Star Wars helmets look good, too. I think I'm, I'm personally curious about what UCS sets are coming. Um, I'm perhaps slightly disappointed with the R2 coming out a uh, week from tomorrow. And I say that because they already did one, and I haven't seen a side-by-side -side comparison, but they look very similar. And I actually did not get the other one, so I'll get it. But, you know, it'd be nice to have more variety, I think. All right, Houston, we may have another problem. <laughs> I may have done the wrong piece again somewhere because I see I've got two dark gray in a piece, and I was probably supposed to use dark gray instead of black. Uh, R2DG UCS set supposed to have more features. Yeah, I mean, that's certainly possible, but, and like I said, I'm going to get it, but I wish it was uh, a little bit different. But, you know, and they're going to run out of ideas at some point. I get that. Huh. 
how far back did I make this mistake? All right, well, it's got to be in bag two. Oh, right there. Okay. Ah, it's not horrible. It's just these curved pieces. I can fix this. So memo to self, you really need to pay attention to see um, if there's color variances once they show a subsection that's put back together. Because like this was like put these four pieces together like this and then stick it here. And in the little square, the pieces look the same color. But when you put it together, you can then there you can clearly see that one of them, the one by two plate, is a slightly different color. And of course, I put it back together wrong with the wrong piece. Um, so yeah, in that case, you can kind of see that it's different, but if you're not paying attention to the what the finished part looks like, you might miss it. But yeah, that was a very easy save on that one. Very easy. I just have to find out where I was. All right, so now we got those. Do, do, do. Two, oh, only one of that. Three, one, two by six. And they are right next to each other. This thing is getting to be quite thick that I'm building right now. And it's, when well, you can't hear it, it's hollow actually to a large degree. Which, you know, makes sense. Or even two more of those. Uh, let's see. So for up to 59 pieces in 24 lots. Summer doors and frames, those dark, dark like the night and hollow like a bat. Yeah, could be. Again, I'm questioning my wisdom in building a set like this on a black table, but like I said, it was convenient. It was already here. All right, I've just now attached the back of the cowl. Okay. 
uh, some of the building techniques in this, and again, I haven't built any of the other helmets or cowls or anything, but it's reminiscent of the brick heads. So I guess that makes a lot of sense. Also not the right one. Okay, do we have the right one at all? Did they put them in two different bags? It looks like they did. Interesting. Whoops. Brick separator. Okay. Comes with some uh, black Nexo Shield pieces. When I was in the Lego store today, the manager there. Uh, was uh, he's got some of these? There's a Ninjago catamaran set, um, and it comes with like two different catamaran things, three guys, and uh, flick flick fire missiles, uh, at least from one of them. And he's saying that they're ten percent off because apparently there was a production error that they got informed about, where some sets only had had two of bag two and no bag one or three or something like that. So they had to open them all up and check, but because they're open, they were basically selling them at 10% off. I was tempted, um, but I mean, at, no offense, Jordan, but I have not bought any Ninjago like for me or to collect, so to speak. And, you know, 10 years in, it's kind of feeling like it's a little late to start. Um, so, yeah, I, I managed to resist buying that. I did not look up to see if the part out was worth it. But I figured for 10% off, it probably is not any better than if it was just regular price. I mean, a little bit, but. Oh, we're building an ear. I sensed the ear.
Yeah. If you definitely, if you've got a catamaran and it's unopened, I would probably pop it open to check it. Um, I mean, if it's for you, you definitely want to make sure you have the right pieces. I might look a little further if you turned out that you have more than one of the same bag. If it's for part out, perhaps the bag you have is worth more than the bag you don't have. It might be hard to determine, but. So it looks like they put left and right wedges of different styles in different bags, which is it's an interesting concept. I mean, you know, as long as it's not causing a problem with building anything that works out. Wow, what a nice curve. All right. All right, so we have the left cowl ear up. It's got a little weight to it, it's kind of nice. I'm certainly not the world's fastest builder, that's for sure. I'm enjoying it. Hoping people aren't terribly bored. I guess maybe it, I should think about having some, if I'm going to do something live and not uh, time lapse, I should probably have some stuff in mind to help like pass the time for people. Certainly don't want to play music though. That could be a bad move. I guess at the very least, it's nice and relaxing. You don't have to, it's not stressful. You probably don't have to actually be like sitting there hunked down and watching the screen. You can just kind of listen and pay attention a little bit. Just like Ben's doing something else too. I can't put any kind of blame on somebody for doing that. How dare you? Uh, there are royalty-free streams you can play for YouTube stuff. CP Gray found some because his Minecraft stream was having issues from the background music. Exactly why I'm here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I actually there was a um, humble bundle not long ago for royalty-free music, and it wasn't all that much money. So I'm like, well, screw it, I'll buy it. And so I haven't even listened to the stuff. I've downloaded it. I haven't listened to it all. Uh, so at some point, we'll do that, see what kind of stuff we have in there. As long as I don't put you to sleep, Ben, that's the only worry I have. Especially if you're on baby duty. I don't want to put you to sleep then. Uh, 
All right. Pardon me a moment. I do have a Discord message directly to me. All right. Speaking of the little cutie pie, Ben, how's she doing? And not your wife. I wouldn't say that about your wife. Uh, let's see. Turn the page. One too much on those two pages. I mean, we're getting down to just a few pieces here, so we'll be opening up bag three momentarily, I think. She's great. Both my cutie pie. Well, okay. <laughs> Now, was your wife or slash is your wife working? Is she still on maternity leave? Maybe I'm prying too much. I'm just trying to have some conversation. There we go. We now have both cowl ears assembled with the back of his head. So. We're coming along there. I guess they save the best for last, or maybe it's not the best, but something. Oddly enough, all I have is an extra piece this time around is a single one by one quarter circle tile. Uh, just did a two month checkup, just announced or two under 12 pounds. Wife is currently working. Is she able to work from home or do you guys have, you need to get a babysitter sometimes? What's going on? I can't imagine that would be the easiest thing to do in either situation. I mean, I've never had any children, so I couldn't tell you for sure, but. Actually, this is not going to take long at all because there is not as much in bag three as the other bags. Oh, not currently working. I, I misread that. Okay. Well, good for her. You know, I'll be honest. When I sent the package, I was pretty sure she wouldn't be working. So I'm like, you know, she'll be home and somebody will be there to get the package. I actually also had a conversation with the guy at the post office because I thought it'd be cute to address it to your daughter, but I'm like, however, this person will not be able to sign for this. They assured me it wasn't gonna be a big problem, but then I think I added all three names anyway. Just in abundance of caution. All right, two of those. Hmm. Of those and two of those.
Yeah, I recorded that video and haven't been able to upload it. I've had trouble getting it off my GoPro. I'm going to try again this weekend. Oh, no worries. It'll be a blast from the past. Hmm. I built something wrong. Another mistake. Can I fix it easily? I think I can. All right. Whoops. Oh, the base is breaking. Uh, pieces down. Oh, my gosh. That's more than I expected. Okay. All right. So a word of warning. Ah, the base of the cowl will, um, will come apart if you press up on it. So I'm just going to have to reassemble this stuff. It's not terribly critical. All the uh, corner tiles popped off, and then that one section popped off. But it's fixable by means. Uncle Doug sending a Lego for the next generation. Well, yeah. You literally just opened the bag. How could you have something on? It was actually a previous step, Woody. Um, and I was going to show you, and then as I'm trying to, anyway. Over here, uh, there's these one by one uh, snot bricks. It's got the two studs on opposite sides. This one, I put the stud facing in instead of out. So what I did is I forced it apart here a little bit, turned the stud and squished it back together. But in the squishing it back together, I was pushing from the base and then the base popped apart. But it's all fixed now. Yeah, you know, sometimes you don't realize you've made a mistake, mistake until the next bag. <laughs> all right, turn the page. All right, I've just gotten a text. This could be important. So I am uh, loaning my car out to the daughter of uh, good friends of mine. Again, um, her car is undrivable. I uh, need some severe repair, and the mechanic was like, "Yeah, just drive it home. Don't drive it anywhere else." So. Uh, she has uh, some, a school class thing at a faraway nature center over the weekend. So she's going to come pick up my car, which is why I have the mask to pop up over the webcam if needed. Uh, I did leave the key somewhere in the garage where they can get to it and let them know where it was. But in case that doesn't work out, they can come in and bother me if they need to. So I may have to mute myself at some point, and I, I'll try to be away for a very, very brief period of time. All right. So look, look at this. So Ben, I'm using a windscreen on the uh, cowl. I mean, it's a newer design windscreen, but it is a windscreen no matter. Um, in any case. Hmm. All right. Ah, uh -huh. definitely don't have any of those in this lap. Nope, it's a little bit newer design, I believe. One of those. One of those. Two of those. And one of each of those. That's an interesting piece. I can't wait to find out where that goes. It might be a new piece. New to me, at least. I won't reveal it until the time I'm supposed to use it, but of course, uh, and an industrious person could try to find the instructions online, and they may be online somewhere yet. I don't know if they, I don't know how quickly I go post those. And it's not due out until Monday, so it might be waiting until then, but let's see. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
Hmm. All right. Turn the page. All right, one by four, got it. Another one of those. They're always amused. Not are other people always amused or interesting when they use a piece in a way that it wasn't originally designed. Um, like, and I can't come up with an example. I read, I just pulled another one of these, the half hinge pieces out. And I'm just like, they might be using it in a hinge fashion, but I don't know. Two of those. Right. And that. Two of them. Oh, we missed a piece. Wait a minute. Oh, I see. Never mind. Stupidity on my part. Uh, I like the frogs to the trip. Yes, absolutely. The that was really cool. I do like how when I put it down, you can kind of see it on the webcam view. Not hard to find the white pieces. Yeah. I know, um, having gone to Brickworld a number of different years in the past, and I'd like to go again, but just hasn't panned out recently. Uh, I wonder why. Maybe panned out is the wrong word to use because it's too close. Um, but uh, definitely some interesting use of the piece. It's like, okay, so the, the tire rims, uh, you pull the rubberized tire off, you have the interior rim. If you can get it in yellow, apparently it exists, you stack, I think, three of them high with a Technic pin in the middle, and it looks like a 55-gallon barrel, like nobody's business. It was I was blown away when I saw that. And it seems really simple, but things like that are just like, whoa. Yeah, step 100 is complete. We're on to 101. I haven't actually been paying close attention to that, but. Cheese wedges, by the way, because I just pulled cheese wedges. Cheese wedges are one of the pieces that I find 
the most difficult to decide if it's Lego or not. Um, especially the one by one. I think the one by two actually says Lego underneath them. It's been a long time since I've looked. Most of it I do by feel though at this point. And I know a lot of them don't have the um, the ridge. And then also some of them, the angle is wrong. Um, they, um, uh, they, they just if you, a one by one cheese slope in the fake goes up higher. And I was just like, okay, yeah, this isn't real. All right, one of those. One of those. So I'm going to show a couple of pieces here in a moment. Um, you don't see many of these in use anymore. Um, the old roof slopes, like this one is the one where it hangs off a little bit. And this one is just a pure, almost like a tent piece for like the very apex. And I mean, there's, they've been around for decades at this point, at least the one, maybe not quite as long for this one, but you just don't see them in use all that much, but boom, here it is. And it's in a Batman cowl. So, you know, go figure. All right, so now I'm going to show the piece that I saw earlier. It's like a tiled piece, um, but it comes to a point. It's really odd. I I don't know. I don't remember having seen it before, but there you go. It's pretty hard to see. I don't know. Very, very slight downward curve to it, too. Uh, these are used as tents in the Ramses game. Yup, I wouldn't I wouldn't be doubtful about that. Hi, Liam. Uh, let's see. So we're getting down near the end here. I got, you know, a few more steps at least. And we're just under two hours. So I think if you discount the time I waited, because I waited about 15, 16 minutes before I started, it probably will end up taking me about two hours for this. So I know that uh, people have come and gone and probably somebody even come back after a while. 
uh, just uploaded my windscreens, windows, and doors, at least the ones I got to, 98 parts, 47 lots, almost $79. Very good. And it's like, you know, and how long did you work on that? Just the time we've been on the live stream? For two hours, you put $78, $79, almost $80 worth of stuff up. That's not bad at all. Oops. Okay. Well, actually, in that time, I've helped pay the baby and uploaded over $100 total. That was just the winning screens. I also did a bunch of slopes. Okay, fair enough. It's uh, quite the thing I've just made. I'm not done adding to it either. All right, so two of those, more of those being used. Uh, 80 lots total, only need 49 lots to hit 7,000. Very good. 7,000 lots. That's that's impressive. Oh, look at that. And it, it, it bends in, and it pretty much meets. it. There's very little light showing through that. It's nice angling. Uh, and we put that on. All right, so we definitely have the angling there for the mask, although, woo, give them some strangeness there. But I said it looks pretty good. All right, so what's next? We need two of those. One of each of those. Okay. And two of those. Okay, yeah. I haven't used those yet. Here we go. Okay, this is, I wish I had a little bit better picture of this, but I think it goes like that. All right. All right, two of those, okay, one of those, okay. No, nope, one only one of the other piece. Whoops. All right. Two of those. This is also getting down to the point where I'm like, okay, hope I didn't make any mistakes. It can be harder to fix them at this point. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
one of these. Goes there. One of these and one of those. The pretty uncommon one by three tile. Oh, wow. Very sneaky. Very sneaky. So we just built this here, and it's harder to see, but these pieces here were attached to this piece, which I just put in and slipped into this little hole and basically helped cover some of the white to make it look more around her eyes. Very nice. Very nice. And now we're pretty much going to do the same thing again, but in reverse. I will show it here before I stick it in on the other side. So, yeah, you've got these things sticking out, which basically go into the little slot. Now, this is it's upside down, but it'll go in like this, uh, and then block part of the eye here on the one side. So it goes in right here. So yeah. Very clever. That was step 122. We are getting so close. One of those, one of those. I had to look at the instructions closer to be able to see what pieces I needed because it was a little further away. All right. Like we're going to do the same thing again the other direction. Almost looks like a, a little tiny spaceship that I've just built. And like you could foil the, the wings up a little bit. 
or maybe that could be the front, perhaps. Oh my, and we are going to be doing some angling to attach them. Oh boy. All right, so before I connect this, I'm going to try to show this off. So I had this piece here, and it's clipped in way down here, and I've got these flat pieces here, and it basically folds down around that windscreen, and then this clip here clips into this piece over there like that. And it's surprisingly it does not move really. It's Once it's clipped in, it's in its spot. That's quite impressive. All right, so now I'm a little concerned because I seem to have, have a whole bunch of extra pieces. And we missed that side somehow. So i got to go back and figure out where I missed that. Luckily, it's looks like it's right here. Hmm. No. Yes, I just did not did not follow through. There we go. However, I still have a number of tiles left over. So that's kind of odd. Like, where might I have missed tiles? Could be anywhere, really. Uh, two one by six and two one by eight tiles extra plus a key slope, which I assume is extra intentionally. I mean, I suppose they could be just extra, extra, but, or mistakenly extra. I just don't think that's the case. I would be very suspect that that's the case. So we're just going to back up here, but I think we're pretty much going to be done. I just got to... Go back a little bit and see if I can find a place where some of these tiles might have gone. I figure they got to be a, one or two steps that were right next to each other or something. And so finding steps with tiles in them should be pretty. Oh, here we go. Get some just some tiles. Ah, there we go. Uh huh. Somehow missed them entirely. Now I gotta try to well yeah, it's not lack of symmetry because I'm missing the entire symmetry of what it needs to be done. But yes, absolutely, that would be normally the, the right way of looking at it. Okay. All right, so hmm. It's gonna be a little more difficult because it's underneath the cowl or the uh, the clear the the clear piece. So that's gonna be some creative destruction of some sections here. I mean, luckily, you know, this brickheads type style building, it's not 
impossible to get things apart. I mean, it's not always easiest, but it's not impossible. All right, so now let me look at this. Yeah, so here's what we, we have here is these flat pieces in behind that windscreen. Oh, thanks, Cynthia. I appreciate it. It was, like I said, it's a learning experience. Um, I mean, some things I may or may not do the same if I do it again, but I'd say I had fun. I think we're going to do this. You know, I must say that that I, without even realizing it, that it does look better because of uh, there was a lot of gray and other colors visible underneath there, and I was just like, I guess this is the way it's supposed to be. But no, it was not the way it was supposed to be. It was intentionally supposed to be covered, but I hadn't done a good job of finding that stuff. There we go, and then one cheese slope extra piece. So really, only five extra pieces for the entire set. Ugh. So here we go, the finalized Batman cowl. Um, I really think this windscreen does a good job of keep looking at hollow uh, because if there's no face in there, it's just gonna be a cowl like on a pedestal or something that somebody would have uh, ready to go or you know Bruce Wayne would have ready to go. Uh, there's a lot of really ingenious parts. I think one of my favorite parts was how they clipped this angled piece here around and it got it to joint in with the clips and the whatnot. I think that that turned out pretty good. Thank you. I appreciate everybody who stopped in. I think at this point we're probably going to be done unless anybody has any last comments. And two hours and 14 minutes. I waited 15. So yeah, it took me about two hours to build. Uh, almost exactly. Thanks, Woody. Uh, oh. Ah, just finished order. Very nice. Yeah, you certainly weren't placing order with me if you were placing an order. Or elsewise, it's a very cheap order. Zero. Yeah, I think this coming week, or maybe even over the weekend, we'll see. I'm going to dive into. Uh, Labeling drawers downstairs. I have uh, a couple of unique ideas. I'll do a video on it about how I'm going to uh, label things. Uh, well, thanks, Ben. I I'm glad you had some fun. I had a, a realization of a, a couple of small issues with uh, one way I had considered numbering them. So I'm going to definitely go with a different method. It'll be a little more fluid. I won't have a like a I won't have it won't be as fun as like bricks are saying he's got like, you know, drawer 3690 or whatever, because all my none of my drawer numbers should probably go or my location number should go above 200 or so. Um, maybe 196. I well, maybe a little over 200 on the one side. But uh, yeah, 250 tops is going to be the largest number. I also realized I have another problem on the wall with the adjustable shelves. Um, the one section, the narrower section, should be fine. The other section, the span, is probably too great to support much weight. So I may have to put in some blocks between the shelves in the middle just to hold them up, or perhaps not directly in the middle, but depending upon the size of the totes I use there. Uh, but yeah, that'll be fine. I'll, I'll, I'll flow with it.
I mean, surprisingly, not really, there's not really much moving parts. I mean, these could fan out, but that's about it. Everything else is uh, locked down. A little bit of the internal working down there, you can see. But yeah, the, I think the transparent, cloudy type pieces here helped along with the there to give it that floating look. I tell you, I was tempted by the Imperial Probe Droid though, but I'll save that for uh, double VIP points in a week. Well, two hours and 18 minutes in, I think we're gonna call it. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for everybody stopping in. Uh, I'm assuming this will get saved and uh, put up as a regular video. Um, I'm not 100% sure how that works, but I think that's how it works. So people can go and watch it at a later point if they missed it or missed parts of it or whatever. Anyway, take care. Thank you.